Welcome everyone and today I'm going to do some more fabrication on my Titanic hull so there's no point talking about it let's get into it and thank you for joining me. So I've reinstated some bracing across the top half of the hull. There's another one just there. And the idea is, is the top width is now exactly the same as the bottom. What I need to do is get some more rigidity in the sides because fundamentally I'm losing a lot of space in this shed and I've got so much stuff on this side and this side and I really need to be able to have this hull so I can move it in and out. I've started building some doors at the back of the shed there. Um, hopefully they'll open out into the backyard and I'll be able to somehow get the boat out of here. So it's a new day and feeling a little fresher than last night. I decided I am going to try and fix a problem in regards to the concrete floor is not level and it's certainly not um, square. It's all over the place and that is reflecting into the structure of the hull. It's unfortunately got a twist in it and the solution I came up with was staring me right in the face. Uh, these milling blocks uh, have little steps in them and I've put them around different areas throughout the hull and used its own weight to settle square and I can say I'm 100% happy with how it is now. So the idea is now the hull is sitting parallel, it's square, everything's the way it should be. I'm going to stitch in a couple of pieces of RHH RA, square across the top of the gunnel. And what that will do is it will 
give more strength to the length of the hull and then I'm going to put some straps that come down to all the uh, vertical pieces linking the upper and the lower section of the hull and that will then um, however the hull is sitting now it will stay the same that's the idea so essentially what I'm doing is getting the hull level and then I'm going to stitch some steel in there and it's going to stay level regardless of what I do long way around the roundabout but that's what I'm thinking successfully joined the two halves together and when I did my measurements we're chasing millimeters here it is perfect so hopefully it will perform just as well as it should um, the next thing to do is I'll explain to you about the stitching that I've done down the side of the hull so essentially what I've done here is oh, we've thickened the gunnel up a bit and by doing that there's stitch welding periodically Every 300 mil or so down, um, or 12 inches, whichever conversion chart you look at, metric or imperial. But essentially what's happened is I've leveled up the hull and put the stress into the hull that needs to be there in order for it to be square and the stern and the um, bow to be parallel to each other. And then I've gone and put the welds along the entire length on both sides and by doing this it locks the stress into the hull into its correct position once all the sheeting's put on the side that would add extra torsional strength to the hull but to say i'm not happy is mate i am really really happy with this build um if you guys got any comments please shoot them down below if you see anything i've done wrong by all means i'm open to suggestions um yeah cool all right let's keep going so we're back down at the stern. Um, what I need to point out is this piece here is not actually the bottom of our hull. This is only one section of it. This will be theoretically where our water line will be, somewhere within a few inches. We've got a whole other keel section to be fabricated and then that will then join in with this portion of the hull. So we've still got a significant way to go ahead, but um, yeah if you can have a look and hopefully the camera's showing you we've uh, achieved a lot this month but unfortunately um i've run out of materials i've run out of mig wire i've run out of argon gas it's really hard for me to portray in these videos how much time this has taken me i have spent literally every hour before work i'll update as soon as i've got something worthwhile um, updating on it so it might be in six weeks time it could be in two weeks time it just depends on budget family and life I'd also like to say thank you for joining me on this build um, if you've got any worthwhile comments by all means throw them down below and that's it from me Anthony and thank you for joining my channel everything Anthony and the Titanic build bye for now take care